Gamar Choba, or hello from Georgian language, my friends. In this video, I will show you more of my life in Georgia. I will share struggles which I had with the banks and finding a place to live, and a few things which helped me to cope with the problems. I will show you more of the art side of Tbilisi, some interviews with interesting experts and cool cafes. So, let's get started. On my first live stream of this year, on January 1st, I will share with you that soon, and to be exactly in one week, I was planning to go to Armenia and live a few weeks in year one. Well, lots of things have changed since that, and to be honest, my life was just crazy and, well, super messy, but, well, that's the story of my life. Otherwise, it would be boring, right? <laughs> so, let me quickly tell you what happened. One of the reasons why I stayed is connected to banking issues. And yeah, I love them so much. Unexpectedly for me, in the beginning of January, I needed to create a banking account here in Georgia so that I can transfer money here. Uh, well, it was a total nightmare, to be honest, because in the last month, uh, Georgian banks made some restrictions for Russian citizens uh, who tried to open account because some of Russians, they were kind of playing with crypto or transferring crypto. Like, they were transferring quite big amount of money to Georgian banks and then withdrawing it immediately. And that's why now it's even more complicated to open a banking account, like it was easy before. So in the beginning, I tried one bank. I got a rejection just one hour after leaving the bank. Then I tried the second band and in the beginning it seemed okay because um, they told me they will contact me in five days so I booked a hotel after Gudaure for five more days for me to, in Belize. They didn't reply to me, I came to the banks three times and they were saying they are not ready to give me a decision. Forgot to mention that to each bank you have to pay 50 lari to be simply considered to open a banking account there. So I needed to book hotel for more days in Belize. In the end I just tried the third bank and fortunately I was able to open a banking account here. So overall I was staying in a hotel approximately a week and I just wanted to say how expensive it was. I think for two Airbnbs in one hotel I paid around $300. And honestly it was one of the cheapest cheapest options that were available. So it was quite shocking, like the prices are closer to European prices and maybe even a little bit to American prices. That's why I couldn't stay no longer in Belize because it was very expensive. Well, worth to say that also during this week when I was handling all the issues with the banks and moving from one Airbnb to another, then to a hotel, I was very sick. So it was a very tough week for me and I'm so happy that it finally finished. And then, a few days before going to Armenia, uh, Natasha from Natasha and Virtues actually called me and it seems as she realized that I'm going to Armenia only because it's quite expensive to live here in the city in Belize alone and she kindly offered me to stay in her apartment. So here is my bed, it's an air mattress. To be honest, I never slept on this before. Uh, it's quite okay, but it's like actually, I don't know if you can hear, but it's quite noisy, but it's such an interesting experience. I will definitely write down about it in my upcoming book in a few years about life and immigration. And right now, let's go to have some breakfast and also meet with one of my friends in the city. So guys, we just came to my favorite cafe in the city called Lalita. Immediately you can see some photo booth and I actually did a picture there a few months ago. Some hockey or football. Here is the menu for breakfast and also the normal menu i actually tried a few times leek cream soup it was excellent and also pita says every bacon and fries absolutely amazing really guys just look at these letters it's like a painting oh my god so beautiful georgian language is amazing hey can i have this scramble egg with salmon and latte macchiata yes thank you so much
One of the main reasons why I like Lalita, in addition to excellent food, is actually this place is very dog friendly. You can come here with your dogs, but also they allow homeless dogs to come here. They feed them, they give them some water and allow them to stay in the place. I honestly don't know what they do with the food, but even this simple dish is just absolutely tasty. And by the way, an interesting fact that here, for some reason, you have to pay tax separately. So this is something to note. I really love Lolita, but there is one small thing that kind of destroys impressions a little bit. And it's not just with Lolita, but actually most other restaurant, Georgian restaurants. And that service is a little bit slow. I've been waiting for like 15 minutes to order and a few times I need to ask them to come to me and still I had to wait. And then when I asked the bill, I was waiting for like 15 minutes to finally pay for that. But other than that, the place is great. Oh my gosh, that's so cold outside, like I'm shocked. I didn't expect that, I think I need to buy gloves or something. In the old Belize, you can find many mini statues of local people and sometimes they're hidden in the walls, so it can be very interesting to look for them. Hello, Alexander. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How's the weather? It's cold. Cold? Yeah, oh, so cold. very cold. But I'm from Siberia. I'm cold here. <laughs> One of the things I like the most in Belize is those balconies. Just look how pretty it is. When you are walking in the old town of Belize, you can find so many cool street arts that will impress you a lot. And actually, it appeared just recently because when Georgia was a part of the Soviet Union, street art was forbidden. And if you paint something on the walls, you could go to jail. But when the Soviet Union collapsed and Georgia became a separate country, it started changing a lot. And now it's just such an amazing place. And when you are walking here in Belize, it's like you are walking in the open air museum because you can see so many cool paintings. Wow, I love it a lot. And also I want to note about one special artist, Gosha Art. His name is Gosha. And he came from Russia to Tbilisi in 2017, if I'm not making a mistake. And now he's making so many paintings all around the city. You could see his special style. And also what I like here is that even if there are some construction buildings that will be destroyed later, even there you can find some paintings. So if you're walking in the streets and something is being built there, it doesn't feel so. And moreover, if you want to try something special, if I'm not making a mistake, uh, Goshar, he's making some tours around Belize where you can paint the wall yourself. I think it's such a cool experience and maybe when I will be in Belize next time, I will try it. Sasha, he's not leaving us. <laughs> he liked us. <laughs> He's making a tour for us around the old Belize. Even locals who are living in quite destroyed buildings here in Belize are trying to do something to improve their houses. For example, this family, they painted their house in a rainbow color, which I think looks super cool. And by the way, I to say that right now for this in Russia, you can go to jail because recently there was a new law about propaganda of LGBT and that it became super forbidden. Question. I hope you enjoy our walk around the old town of Belize. Right now I need to go home to work a little bit. And in this evening we are meeting and we are going to visit one interesting event here. So see you soon. It's an underground poetry evening. Wow, it's super interesting. I'm very excited to see it. It's actually somewhere like in the basement. And we are going right there. 
насколько должен быть прекрасен ад, раз про него так страшно говорят, чтобы туда не захотел никто. Так вот и ты меня предупреди, когда я за руку тебя возьму, что ты пиздец, ты ад, проход во тьму. И я спрошу тебя, куда идти? Совсем забыли, что каждый человек имеет право на место в этом мире. Мы закрыли глаза, мы спрятались внутрь, мы больше не любим, мы больше не люди. Мы больше не видим и слышать не хотим, что происходит в незнакомых квартир. Шенки масух уреб, шебралебаши, сиги жеса, магром риствес. Most of the people were reading poets about the war, which I really like, and I could really feel this energy and what they were they were going through, like I experienced that, so I really love it. And I would definitely come to an event like that, maybe sometime again. After the event, my friend and I went to the bar upstairs to drink inside there and talk with the people who read poems. And when I talked to the girl whom performance I liked the most, I unexpectedly found out that she's also a friend of Zach the Russian and lived in his place for some time like myself. I never seen her before. Well, what a small word. Good morning, my friends. It's a brand new sunny day and super cold one. I came for a breakfast and I'm drinking right now rough. It's another coffee and drink, which is a little bit similar, not actually quite similar to latte, but there is also cream in addition to the milk. So it's very tasty and in Russia and post-red countries, it's a very popular drink. And while waiting for my breakfast, I decided to share my future plans and what's gonna happen in the next two months in my life. Uh, Oops, coming back, okay. Well, worth to say that actually it's very difficult to tell about my plans because as we already find out, uh, they're changing every week. <laughs> but for now, in a few days, uh, my girls and I, we are going to Batumi. I'm very excited about this trip because I also wanted to see this part of Georgia where I'd never been before. And next week, uh, Natasha and I are going on a trip. And in fact, before the war started, last year we were planning to go somewhere, maybe in Europe, maybe in Asia. We've been thinking and discussing a lot of options, but then the war started and in the end we never came anywhere. So before I will move to another country and Natasha will stay in Georgia, we decided to go somewhere. So we will go to Uzbekistan and I'm very excited about this. And immediately after I will come back from Uzbekistan, I need to go to Turkey because I need to solve some banking issues. And yeah, I love banking issues so much. Cheers for that. So not to have them. And after all these trips, I'm returning back to Russia for approximately a month or a month and a half. Because again, my family asked me to come, my granddad misses me, they can't go anywhere else. And I need to help them a little bit with some family issues. So I will be there and when I will be in Moscow, I will try to get a Schengen visa. Hopefully, if I get this, I will move to one amazing city in Europe, which I have history with. I will share with you later and probably will stay there for some time. Um, if not, I decided that I'm not going to be sad. Uh, everything what's not done and done is for the best and if I will get um, rejected from a Schengen visa I will go to Asia and will spend one month in different countries. What do you think about these plans? I think I think they're quite nice. Uh, I'm absolutely sure probably something could not everything will go not according to the plan exactly the story of my life during the last year but I still think it's going to be a quite interesting experience and I hope you'll be there with me to share these memories. <laughs> the district where I'm walking right now called Vaki and actually it's considered to be the best and the most prestigious district here in Belize interesting thing uh, that I talked to a few people who live there and everybody told that it's not the best place to live because there is always traffic and another problem here is with the tubes or something like that uh, they often turn off water here for a few hours very unexpectedly since my last few weeks were quite stressful I found an art studio and I decided to create a painting myself if you didn't know it was a huge hobby of mine before the war and the thing that I really enjoyed doing here is the first part of my painting. I couldn't finish it in two hours, so I'm going to come in a few days. 
But yeah, I'm not a big fan right now. It, it doesn't look so realistic. And the thing is, I used to paint with the oil and hair is a crew. So it's actually very different and I didn't expect that. And that's why like it took me some time to get used to how like you can paint with a crew. So yeah, I'm I'm more I'm much big fan of oil doll. But I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna make it more beautiful and a little bit more realistic, you know. Let me introduce you to the founder of the studio, Anastasia. So I decided to do uh, such studio where anyone can come and to do picture himself without any practice, without any knowledge. Um, so you just don't know nothing about painting. You can come and do this beautiful picture to your home. I think that it's easier way to do your apartment more uh, comfortable because th first of all this is a beautiful picture and, uh, and the second one is that this picture made but by your hands and I think uh, people like this. Mm. <laughs> Go away from uh, I'm from Russia, but I live here about four years. If this is something you never tried before, like go in your city and try a masterclass like that, or if you're gonna be in Belize, come to Anastasia's studio. And I really hope that one day I will be able to present my collection of paintings to some gallery for an exhibition. Oh my God, like these dreams, you just make me so happy. I hope one day I will do it. After a few days, I finished the painting and here is the result, which I think turned out quite well. And actually, I'm thinking of selling the picture. So if you're interested in buying it and therefore supporting my channel, please write on the email. Where are we right now? Yeah, so yesterday we went to an exhibition. It's about environmentalism and I thought that it will be really interesting for your video about street art, about art in general. So there we will see how um, these artists use different plastic to make different, uh, what do you call it, installations. We will like it. I think there is so much sense in this art and uh, how we people can affect our world negatively. So I wish that there will be more exhibitions like that. I think it would be also very interesting to talk with Lisa, the, uh, the creator of this exhibition a little bit. Shall we? My friends, let me introduce to you Lisa who created all these masterpieces. Could you please tell us how did you start, how this idea came out to you? I felt lots of tension about uh, the climate change and I had like um, the huge field of different emotions and I had no idea how I can express it and how can I um, how can I evaluate my art in, mm -hmm. in, in, at some point and then it's all just I found plastic bottles and I wanted to make something uh, like create something and it's all happened uh, really randomly and some like chaotically. Well, that's amazing. Uh, did you start in Georgia or in some other country? Um, in Georgia was my first big work. Then where are you from? I'm from Russia, from Chelyabinsk. Oh, Lisa, thank you so much. I think it was very interesting and I'm sure that all of us wish you good luck with all your future projects. So my friends, the place is called David's Garden 
and it's mostly a shisha place. That's why the choice of food is not that big, but oh my gosh, how delicious is everything. Dishes are created from various combinations of products, such as hamon, parmesan, fruits, vegetables, cheese. There are many vegetarian options as well. And also in this place you can experience that ceremony of real Chinese tea. We love it a lot. Since this video turned out to be quite artistic, I showed you a lot of street art and also one exhibition. I actually wanted to share our thoughts about this with Natasha because it's a little bit different. I really like street art and for me street art is not really graffiti but these amazing paintings. But Natasha is a fan of graffiti so could you please share your opinion about it? Yes, as you said, uh, graffiti, graffiti can be really different. It can be beautiful murals, it can be pictures related to some political issues, some activism, it can be just, you know, ugly tags on the streets. And I realize where uh, the dislike for graffiti goes from, because for some people it's related to, you know, uh, gang wars or people associated with some crime and uh, some people believe in the theory of broken winds you know this uh, windows uh, this th theory says that uh, if there is graffiti in the streets people tend to throw out trash there mm. and the crime is higher in that nice. uh, area but uh, this uh, might be controversial I mean Maybe it's not that maybe this is not the graffiti that is the reason of this. So mm. I want to defend graffiti. I like these different fonts of graffiti or um, different patterns. For me, it looks very unusual, very uh, uh, colorful. I think it only makes the streets better. Well, I want to add here something because for me, I'm not a big fan when there are graffiti on the wall when. I don't know, something crude is written or just some, maybe some phrases, for example, you say on the streets. I can't imagine myself just buildings where people are living and sometimes it can be truly beautiful, but in most cases, not most cases, but often, it's not really. And I still remember when I've been walking in uh, Athens, in Greece, everything was in graffiti, something crude. And for me, it didn't look so good. I was shocked, even like on the historical, um, some ruins. The graffiti. I was like, how is it even possible? Was it the day when you saw a heroin addict just oh, yeah. around the oh, corner? Oh yeah, that was maybe, the day. Maybe this is how the graffiti influenced him. Uh, I, like, I don't know, but <laughs> like, I still remember that I was shocked seeing that. And I don't know, I like when the graffiti is uh, some, you know, some modern buildings like art places and there are graffiti on the buildings, uh, even like, let's say, even rude ones like I like it but just in the normal buildings where people are living I would prefer to see some paintings like often you can see in the old town of Belicia like that's for me so friends tell me on which side are you on Natasha's side or on mine it would be very interesting hearing your opinion this is already the end of my video I really hope you enjoyed this and learned something new about life in Georgia and about its art because you know I'm a big fan of art so I'm super happy to show all this to you and yeah, if you like this video, what I hope so, don't forget to push the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And I'll be super happy seeing your feedback in the comments. So guys, I'm gonna see you next week and let's explore the world together.